Hello, Will Perry here. If you are wanting to have a better relationship, then this will interest you. So uh, my name is Will Perry. Welcome to another Keeping the Conversation Alive video. Uh, this is about uh, how to have a better relationship and how exploring the sides of you that you want to avoid uh, is the answer. So um, uh, welcome again. So um, do you know uh, your shadow holds the answer? So this is all about... Um, uh, in psychological terms, the shadow side. This is something that's um, fascinating to, to me and what my work is really focused on. Um, we all have a shadow. Um, yeah, in, in the shadow of the, th the aspects of us that we uh, don't like or don't like to admit, don't like to acknowledge are there. They're, they're negative in some views and that, in some ways. Uh, and those are what we feel about ourselves, what we think about ourselves that we don't want to be uh, out there, <laughs> that we don't want people to know, that we don't want to uh, acknowledge ourselves sometimes. So uh, kind of we bury them in our subconscious and these are called our, our shadows and we all have them. The more they're integrated into, and Jungian um, said this, the more they're integrated, and he came up with the whole philosophy, um, <coughs> excuse me, the more they're integrated into our, our, our conscious self, uh, and our awareness, the smaller the shadow is, the less integrated these things are, the less accepted they are, the bigger the shadow. And the more, uh, not necessarily danger, the more, more problems it causes us. So I kind of want to go through that and expand on that because that's kind of what, what I work on, but you might not be aware of it. And I think it's a nice analogy to show you. So your, uh, your shadow holds the answer. So, um, I've been through three marriages. I don't say I kind of embarrassed, but but that's gave given me a greater understanding. So I didn't choose to go through three marriages um, at the point of which I stepped into the next one, or, or the first one indeed, or the next one, or the next one. Uh, I thought that was it, and I was the happiest man alive, and the luckiest man alive, you know. Um, but it got to the point of it's like, what's wrong with me? Because we, you know, we we aspire to, we want to. Uh, have these marriages that where we fall in love and that's it forever ring on and um you know vows and and that's it done and dusted and we're in this magical wonderful place um i felt i was um uh, well i give kindness i give a lot of kindness i care a lot uh, i do kind things um you know i've not often had uh, a lot of money but what i do is is not monetarily based it's it's uh, about out of kindness and empathy and understanding and and I do a lot of kind things and for a long period of my life I feel that those haven't been acknowledged those haven't been valued and certainly I can reference those in my marriages that those weren't valued and it led me to the the place that what's wrong with me there's something definitely wrong with me you know that I can repeat these patterns I can create this damage and destruction and devastation in, in many ways and I can create this and what's what's wrong with me and hurt and heartache and that I can go through this what's wrong with me we're using this if we look at the shadow um, and explore the shadow then then that's where the understanding comes from that's where the understanding is and that's where we least like to look that's where we don't like to explore um, so I, I know in myself, and I'll go through what's alluded to my understanding, uh, my better understanding about myself, um, that can also help you. Um, because when we look at the shadow, the things we don't want to look at, that's where we can find out things about ourselves that actually aren't necessarily bad, aren't actually that negative, and aren't actually the things that we need to worry about. And that can... Uh, create a more of a wholeness within us so that's the area down here if you think the shadow is is, is a bit like uh, the potential within us uh, we hold the key to that but not many of us the key to unlock uh, un unlock that box uh, and that box we build so much fear around that box so much fear around that shadow so much trepidation that we kind of like oh, just ignore it and keep smiling but if you look at the shadow that's kind of got a negative smile on it you know you see up there it's mm, it's a negative smile <laughs> what's a negative smile uh it's one turned upside down um so the box holds actually potential for us the potential for greater than we are individually yet it's disconnected the shadow is disconnected from us the more we can integrate it into our conscious self the more resourceful actually we become and the more 
holistic and more balanced. And guess what I found? That out of those, uh, out of that, unlocking that comes actually this, the relationships. And I'm not saying I'm in a relationship at all because I'm not. It's the understanding of self. And guess what? You, I, I, I wondered why, and the biggest thing about this was, I wonder why I kept repeating these patterns. So these patterns in my life that I'd keep repeating again and again and again um, and I help people with that that feel like a doormat feel they're not heard feel not, not listened to not valued um, empath empaths that uh, run on empty all the time guess what this is what we need to look at the the shadow side of ourselves can hold the key to unlocking our potential unlocking our fulfillment unlocking our wholeness and our personality uh, and acceptance of, of who we are and what we're capable of, both good and bad, uh, because often uh, people who are empathetic, for example, don't uh, like to acknowledge their strength so much and they'll be very, you know, oh, no, 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 play themselves down. But actually, we need to hold on to that ourselves, yet also in balance, hold on to what we can be, the destructiveness, the negative aspects that we can be. So that's the good and the bad and the balance and holding that balance in the right way. And guess what? If we are those things, who are we going to attract? We're going to attract that sort of thing and have the judgments on that um, through those spectacles, if you like. We're going to see the world through those spectacles, not the ones we had before. Because what we have before, oh no, I'm going to have to draw some spectacles there. Um, the spectacles that we're looking at the world prior to looking um, at our shadow are going to be very different and very tainted. And that's what is going to cause this um, looking and repetition this repetition of patterns by not unlocking the box of potentials that hide within our shadow. This is kind of one of the same thing. Can you see that? So understanding your shadow is incredibly important um, and it's your untapped potential if you don't. So if you choose not to, you're going to stay, um, and it's your own choice, you're going to stay kind of divorced from the shadow but the shadow is going to grow okay your resourcefulness will stay untapped you're going to continue to look through the world through these glasses which is fine most people do but the shadow is going to grow the shadow is going to extend um, and, and become larger and exaggerated over time and that's a difficult thing to face and of course it you won't think oh it's just my shadow growing <laughs> Look at it. It doesn't work like that. It's the negativity, the difficulty, the patterns, the negative patterns in life increasing. But you think it's external um, circumstances. But what it is, is actually the internal processing that's going on. And it's an incredibly difficult thing to see. And it's a really difficult thing to work on. Um, and what I found was uh, how to do that, how to untap your potential how to look at the shadow side um for me using a rigorous structure is is really useful so we you know we've got access to these wonderful um uh, questionnaires profile tools that are, are much more reliable than the ones of the past you know from the 1930s much more reliable uh, and i use them as you know they're online online tests you know with lots of probably 100 different questions and they're very reliable across cultures across genders across um everything uh, so it's reliable and what that gives us is this kind of grid work this framework if you like of who we are our personality our preferences however some of it is sitting in the shadow and what we need is the help to go through the uh, kind of this area to go through and explore the shadow area because we want to resist it we want to ignore it yet if we do that it only grows so the way I do it is, um, uh, you know, a absolutely working very closely with a personality profile, but but not just in isolation. I help people understand it and what that might mean for their own particular journeys, for their own particular shadows, for their own particular understandings, their own thoughts and negativities about themselves. Uh, and of course, the structure of the program and the support within that to help people change. And I find that's a, an incredibly exciting thing. Um, I call it, what did I call it on New Year's Day, the, the beautiful journey. I think it's a beautiful journey um yet it can be trepidation you know the trepidation that you can have to realize that there's a there's there's a box of potential here but you fear that it's negative it's don't open it's like pandora's box don't open the box you know but it isn't actually it's it's within there there's you've got some negativity but if you shine truth at it 
it's not as negative as you thought. And uh, what it can be is, is it can make you more whole and more complete. And guess what? That can help with um, the people that you attract in your world, both at, you know, in, in work, in friendship, but also in romance as well. And not just romance. Romance sounds temporary. Um, is romance temporary? Uh, but in, in, a, in a lifelong partner, you know, you will choose the person that you will know, actually, through working on a, a structure, a, an understanding of personality profiles, you'll get somebody that fits and matches you. So to a, to a degree that you can accept, um, an example of this one, uh, really quickly, how much time have I got? Um, uh, an example of this one is uh, that I find it really interesting, the disgust sensitivity. So um, cleanliness, look at the tidiness. Um, some people don't even notice mess, where other people will be really oh, uncomfortable with it. Um, uh, for example, I don't, like, I can't stand uh, stuff at the bottom of the sink in the kitchen, you know, the, the, the plug collector thing. I have to get it out, tap it in and have that nice and clean. Other people won't bother them. Uh, some people uh, can leave pots and pans in the sink and everything, whilst other people, oh God, sorry, they'll come and do it at other people's houses and, and because, you know, it, it bothers them. It, it's unclean. Uh, and we might have those friends, if you're like that, if you don't mind pots and pans in the sink around, you might love that friend that comes over and uh, and cleans for you. Oh, you're great, you come over. You know, is that using them a little bit? You know, um, perhaps that person shouldn't, should appreciate the boundaries and, and should know, uh, actually, they're the person that doesn't mind uh, pots and pans, so I shouldn't step in. So there's a balance to everything. But imagine that in relationships. Often, you know, this can exasperate relationships if you're living with somebody who, and this is what I've done on both extremes, uh, living with somebody who is really tidy, you know, that can become, and you're not so tidy, uh, that can become a bit infuriating, a bit of a difficulty, but easy cause for flare up and miscommunication. Uh, equally, the other way, if you're quite a tidy person and, you know, somebody is not a tidy person, there's chaos and, you know, for you, it creates chaos in your mind uh, and in the environment around you. That can be a difficult thing to live with and it can be an infuriating and, and cause for miscommunication uh, and frustration. Uh, can you see that? How, how can you relate that to, to both your relationship, your past relationships, uh, what you'd want in a future relationship? So it gives you the structure and understanding of personality traits of where actually there's a, there's a misbalance and imbalance and, and where things would actually fit better. Um, so, and that goes on all sorts of different levels on the, on the, on the big five. Uh, the big five, where's the hand? Um, so uh, I hope that's of interest. Um, f for me, the answer definitely lies in understanding your shadow side. We all have shadow sides. If we ignore them, if we don't explore them, if we don't do the hard work to understand and integrate your shadow side, it only grows and gets darker. And that's not a good thing for yourself. Uh, however, most people do that um, and, and blame external events uh, and circumstances on, on the difficulties and the struggles in their life. Uh, the people that do the work on their shadow side and integrate that fully within themselves find more resources and become more whole and more successful. And you can measure success in many different ways. You can measure wealth in many different ways, but they become wealthier people. Hope that's of interest. Uh, awesome, uh, awesome new year to you. Uh, lo lots of love to you. Loves you, boyo. Speak to you soon. I hope you found that interesting. Bye-bye.